How many of you have heard of a zero bar? You know that weird little silver looking candy thing you see sometimes while reaching for the Skittles while you're at the Walmart checkout line? I'm gonna assume that a fair amount of you have seen the zero bar. However, how many of you have actually tasted the zero bar? Oh, none of you? Now I have a question. Wow. How has this bar been around for so long despite nobody on this planet Earth having any recollection of ever eating it? Why do we all know about the Zero Bar? Why is the Zero Bar so unpopular? What does a Zero Bar even fucking taste like? After much research, I think I understand why the Zero Bar is the world's most overlooked candy bar. But first, a history lesson. The Zero Bar was birthed into this world by Hollywood Brands Inc. in 1920. Hollywood Brands created the bar because, quote, We believe that candy shouldn't be brown, black, or any color other than white. White candy is better, and it is the purest form of chocolate. Black and brown chocolate factories are overrun with poverty, drugs, and violence. Despite only being 13% of all the candy on the shelves, brown and black chocolates still commit 50% of all candy crimes. We won't stand for this here at Hollywood Brands Inc., where we only produce the finest white chocolate in the world. The Zero Bar was launched with its classic slogan, White Power. Despite being born and manufactured in California, the Zero Bar began gaining popularity all around the south, due to it being harder to melt in the harsh southern sun. This love of the Zero Bar then began to spread all across America, and began its global invasion of the entire world's candy sections. But this global colonizing was cut far too short, as a Hershey company soon bought Zero's parent company, leaving the Zero Bar with nothing but the scraps of its older siblings and to be called the worst candy bar ever by global internet superstars, Rhett and Link. Zero Bar, the worst candy bar in the world, and his punishment will be being buried up- Hershey's acquisition of the Zero Bar did lead to one good thing, allowing the Zero Bar to be put in shelves around the country alongside its more popular candy brethren, making it a staple of many children who are walking in the store looking for where the Twix bars were. Despite owning the Zero Bar, the Hershey company had no interest in marketing the bar, or even trying to make people like the bar. Despite having 100% the best candy bar logo of all time, no human being has ever been interested in purchasing and consuming a Zero Bar. And in the past century, it has been pushed into complete obscurity. The Zero Bar was destined for greatness. Its edgy and badass logo along with its futuristic look should have made it a smash hit among today's hip and cool youth, but to no avail. You can still find a zero bar today in display boxes that are filled to the brim with untouched candies. Never to be eaten. Until today. I am no longer a Minecraft YouTube streamer. I am now a food reviewer. Please call me um Mexican Kool-Aid Foods. Today we are reviewing the Zero Bar. Um so when I went to go get this, I actually had to like dig into the little display box that they had cuz the ones at the top actually had dust on them. Actual dust. I could rub off the dust. People don't buy these. I don't understand why they're still on shelves. I, I'm just scared to eat this. It, it like, it looks like something from Fallout. I've always seen these as a kid. I've always like seen these at um, Walmart's, Targets, etc., etc. Um, but I never got one. I who the fuck? Cause who gets these? Whenever you ask somebody, what's your favorite candy bar? They never say Zero. They always say Hershey's, fucking Kit Kat fucking gummy lips or some shit they don't ever say the zero bar if somebody ever told me that their favorite candy bar was zero i'd probably like tell them to go to a therapist or put them in a hospital or something 
But without further ado, let's go ahead and give this a little, a little taste test. That, that, that looks fucking rancid. What the hell is that? I was expecting it just to be like a regular bar, just like covered in white fudge or something. But I guess not. Let's see here for the reveal. What the fuck? Okay, there's a zero bar. I mean, I'm scared to try this. It looks old. Let's, let's do the smell test first. Okay, that smells- that's- you know the little, like, the, like, fudge-covered pretzels? I fucking love those things. It's- this smells exactly like one of those. So that's- that's good. Not what I was expecting, really, at all. Um, I thought I was gonna be eating, like, some Snickers- bar that was covered in white fudge and the fudge really just tastes kind of like bubblegum like I, when i when i eat it it the flavor is bubblegum and the texture is bubblegum like i keep like chewing on it and chewing and chewing most candy bars you take a bite you take like two more like you you chew twice and then it's done but with this it's like i eat i chew like 50 times and it's still fucking in my mouth but i don't i don't mind that too much i guess honestly it's really good Go try one of these, especially if you like white chocolate. You're gonna fucking love this thing. I thought it was really good. Um, I don't want Zero to go to business, so go buy one of these right now. Try it out, tell me what you think. I have, I have no complaints about this. I actually do have one complaint. I like Zero, but it's not, I don't want it to be the reason I die. It was tasty. Whoopee. The Zero Bar is an underrated treasure that must be kept in the highest of towers. Sure, it may not be the best or most innovative candy bar, but name me another candy bar that looks like somebody spleeged all over it. Go buy one of these dust covered bars and eat it knowing that you're one of the 50 people who have ever eaten one. But do you know what costs less than a Zero Bar? Becoming a Mexican Kool-Aid super fan. Mexican Kool-Aid super fans get super exclusive behind the scenes content. Votes on what the next video topic will be, and you get to talk to the rest of the Mexican Kool-Aid super fan base. All of this for just one fucking dollar. What else can you get for just a dollar in this economy? Links in the description, please give me money.